Okay, so this is going to be a quick explanation, because number 13 is technically not a hard, but it's against, again, everything we think about what we feel while we're going in a turn, and also a misconception on the direction of motion compared to the direction of a force. Um, the direction of, your, of the net force acting on you is not always the direction of your motion. The direction of the net force is the same as the <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> is the same as the direction of your acceleration your acceleration is not the direction of motion it's the direction of the change in motion so you got to be careful here so um it says which of the following top views of the box represent all the horizontal forces so we were basically ignoring um the normal force in gravity yeah horizontal forces side to side now it says that the bus makes a left turn without changing speed. So going from a little picture here, that means he's going to go this way, right? Now what that means is the center of my rotation is here. So if I have a box sitting here, yeah, there has to be a force that points in towards the center of the rotation. So there's the direction of the force pointing in towards the center. Now I know it's confusing because it says the um, box starts to slide to the right side of the bus, but it's actually turning to the left, right? Because it's in the bus and the bus is turning to the left, even though it looks like to the observer that the box is going to the right, to an outside observer, it's going to the left because the outside observer sees the box go to the left in the bus. This is actually something called relativity. And you guys know Einstein's relativity. We don't really talk about relativity here, um, but this is part of it. What this actually is, is this is friction opposing its motion and friction is what's pulling it in. Now it's resisting that it's resisting that change in motion, which is why it, it to the person in the bus, it looks like it's going to the right because it's resisting that change, but it is changing again, even though it looks like to the person in the bus, it's going to the right. It is accelerating to the left with the van. So there's your explanation. That has to be the answer because the box, just like the van is turning to the left, not turning to the right.